Was curated in front of a flat screen one, two, TV. One, two, three, four. Monkey loves bananas. Monkey loves grapes. Monkey loves making love to other apes. I said, Boy loves bananas. Boy loves grapes. Boy loves honey. Boy loves monkey. Well, is a child trapped to inside of the prime a containment unit. Well, fix me, Rama. I always got topics some shit around the disability. I should have a lot of time. Hey, how did they meet? We're gonna meet down here. We're gonna get trapped. That's the entire unit. Put your hand on the door. Now you shoot on nobody in the boxes. Now I'm gonna ask you. Now you telling the truth? Now you shoot nobody in the boxes. Make sure it's taken away. Monkey loves bananas, monkey loves grapes, monkey loves making love to other apes. I said, boy loves bananas, boy loves grapes, boy loves honey, boy loves monkey. You understand what I'm well, saying? Well, in my personal opinion, mm-hmm. black folk only come in one or three flavors. Now, what's that mean? Chocolate, mm-hmm. dark chocolate, mm-hmm. in addition to cacao. Now, that sounds now racist. this does not have anything to do with race, creed, or color. Show, that this is racist. about the actions of some people. You understand? I really Let's understand. Let's pick up the shovels and deep dive into the rabbit hole. If you don't mind, well, now, mind. Let's chocolate go. people, okay. they love the law, they pay their taxes, they abide by the law. Mm-hmm. The, end. the end. Good talk. Good talk. Dark chocolate people. Feel bad about it, they uh-huh. work hard, and they may pay their taxes, they may not. It could go either now, way. What you mean when you say feel bad when about I say it? they worry about it, I mean global warming, global crisis, uh-huh. global days and local nights. Uh-huh. Hug that tree, hoist that man, you know, hoist that means raise them up. Raise up. Uh-huh. Now, let's keep going. Okay, let's I mean, they going. really have two fucking shits to give, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. They do not hesitate to show all those that can uh-huh. and will uh-huh. stand in their presence. Yeah. That Karen ain't just a white girl it's franchise, they be showing out. Then okay. you have cacao. Oh, shit. They smoked it, they drank it, mm. they smoked it. They snorted it, mm. they kissed it, mm. they sucked it, mm. they fucked it, mm. they hated it, they mm. loved it. They I got mean, everything but shit to shit, you understand? I see I'm talking about some ignorant motherfuckers, you understand? I totally get it, man. I do not understand, you understand? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna say the late take can't be covered up with perfume, so why don't you just lose the goddamn condom already, you understand? J'adore cette chanson. Uh-huh. Chaque fois que j'entends cette chanson, je uh-huh. ferme les yeux et je pense à Accent Grave au Trémar. Right. Toi maintenant. Vous avez fait de tel. Prograx uh-huh. en grave au tréma AS. Uh-huh. Pour la pluie, te toucher partout. Uh-huh. Quel mira que voix accent grave au tréma uh-huh. NT. Oh, hey, hey, vous vous, vous sentez far, comme nous friend. venons de gagner 600 000 dollars. Yeah, Here's an oldie but goodie. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the low and low bro comedy tour. 
teacher in summer leather and tray trouble. Please take your seats, the show is about to begin. Welcome to the beautiful Delito Theatre right here in the heart of Big City, USA. This is the Low and Low Bro Comedy Tour and now Summer Leather. What's up everybody? That's your girl fam? I fucked. She said don't tell, but shit, we gotta stick together. Your cheating ass females don't get a pass cause you're ambidextrous. I mean it. This bitch rocked the box and the cock. Yeah, I mean, she got super top tatted on her collarbone. You know that bitch hardcore. Hey, I got a lot of bitches, family. I mean it. I got this one bitch who loves to fight. It's like, bitch, we ain't gotta fight. This bitch don't listen. My other bitch, she just wanna watch old episodes of Moesha. I'm like, damn, old girl thick as hell today. What you looking at her Hunger Game casting call tape for? Starving ass model, my other bitch. Love listening to 90s r and I'm like, bitch, nah, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> the bitch got a sex playlist, and the first thing you hear is, my mind, shall let me know. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, if you don't get your big, if anybody asks you, uh, I am. Looking ass out of here. I can't stand my other bitch, though. That's the money, bitch. So you know that she got all this bullshit confidence floating around her. It's like, bitch, okay, I'll do it, but I'm not gonna like it. You know money, bitch, she got perks and privileges not allotted to my other bitches. Then there's my baby, bitch. She cool, cool, and got gone all damn day. Baby, do your honor. Baby, when we gone. Nah, bitch, just shut your lips and lick the shit, you know? I'm glad to see you here. I thought I smelled common condoms. Pick a side. I mean it. Somebody asked me some shit the other day, and I'm like, bitch, who are you? It was some bitch I didn't know. I was intrigued, but bitch, I didn't make these babies with you. Why do you all up in their nutritional value? I'll get you, my pretty. Look on ass, bitch. The fuck out of here. When you see me staring towards the back of the room, I'm planning my trampcation. So don't be alarmed. Stop slut shaming me. I got a right to live as free as I want. How many of you would actually decline to pledge allegiance to the flag if you could go back to elementary school? You guys are acting as if today you came to the realization there are no better days ahead. Someone asked me, why don't I use the word nigga like I use the word bitch? I said, freeze. Do you make sweet love to your sweat socks then put them on your feet? Who you fuck, don't make me come. I mean it. I once stepped into a situation where I had to walk in through the outdoor, so statistically speaking, there is someone somewhere passing out a BJ for a gram of baking soda cocaine crap. Do the math. Two horny guys plus one erect penis equals one monkey pock outbreak. I mean it. Who does the LGBTQ think they are, Bruno or somebody? We can talk about you, family. Have you ever wiped your ass on the grass then licked yourself? Don't give me that look. You're the one calling it your fur, baby. What the hell is going on here? I mean it. Take trouble. Y'all know this fence to be some bullshit, right? I ain't got no funny ass voice. Y'all know that ain't that motherfucker real voice, right? Nah, I'm just throwing shade trying to fuck you over and shit, though. I'm telling Jesus on you looking ass boy. Jehovah is watching, looking ass boy. They keep telling me to stop. I'm not gonna stop, looking ass boy. Give it up for summer leather, man. You killed it, yo. Y'all know that's a girl, right? Y'all ain't never heard her backstory. Everybody knows, everybody love when it's the backstory turn, right? Y'all fuck with that shit. That's that hero guy shit, right? Nah, looking ass boy. Dude, that is a lady, question market, looking ass boy. Nah, I'm diverting all the attention to you as the face of the movement, looking ass boy. Hold me, looking ass boy. A Duck, JT Bank, and your girl, looking ass boy. We got Hero Guy in the audience tonight, y'all. Y'all ready to have a good time? Y'all know the bullshit ain't gonna stop, right? I'm fresh out of TikTok jail. You know I'm feeling frisky. You should lower your expectations. 
I smoke more marijuana than the law should allow. The reason I smoke is to make sure that voice in the back of my head making rational decisions before he go talking shit to me. Let go the police looking boy. Don John 2024 looking boy. Half the distance to the goal, first down, looking boy. Stop just shy of the first down, looking boy. What's that smell? Looking boy. Put that damn looking boy. No puedo seguir así, no, no, en todos los Looking boy Hey, coach, we won Looking boy Next, the electric scooter crashes into the trash bag sitting on the sidewalk Looking boy Uh, what's your pronouns? Looking boy I'm just saying it out loud, you know To rescue this bitch and shit, motherfucker, come talking about some this, talking about some that. Ah, shit, yeah, man. Then the bitch get all belligerent and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's how yeah, fucked man. up, bro. Then the bitch become all aggressive and combative and shit. And then the bitch bit me. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, man, it's some, this bullshit. some bullshit. This bitch done jumped up and turned me into a vampire, man. So I don't even do that superhero shit no more, fam. I feel you will never, dog. Good evening, this is Cherry Chuntenstang reporting right here, live, on the set of Fire Crotch and Mono Man. Today I'm speaking with Hero Guy, who was once the world's most beloved superhero. Hero Guy, or can I just call you Guy? Yeah, that's cool. Guy, why don't you fight crime in this city anymore? Well, Charity, as you very well know, I was busy doing my rescue shit. When a bitch bit me on the neck, I'm a vampire now, so all that shit dead, fam. I never received a paycheck, nor have I ever collected any reward money. A motherfucker said happy birthday one time back in the 90s, but they hit my page around some old 694 shit. Don't nobody know that cold shit, fam. I'm thinking this fool gay as hell. Some of them JL cats told me, nah, flip the page. That's the code for happy birthday, G. I'm like, damn, fam. There you have it. One happy birthday for one superhero turned vampire. This has been Charity Chunkenstein for Pivot with News America. Welcome back to Knowledge the Life Coach. I am Knowledge, and I'm here with Hero Guy. Hero guy, blood, wooden stakes, silver bullets, and immortality. Won't you tell us all about it? Well, knowledge, as far as I am concerned, I love Jesus. Always have, always will. I got flim flam by a flim flammer, and here I am. 52 rescues a week, 52 weeks a year, and not even one snag. Rescue number 27,041. Boom! I get hit in the neck. Vampire! So, how's the knife life settling with you? Shit, man, the ladies get strange when they see Thanks. They always be like, bite me, saying Chris Claus. I wanna be a mortal too, saying Chris Claus. Everybody knows, everybody love when it's the backstory back time. What's up, Lady V? How you been feeling since we had sex? Weird. Nah, I mean since we was together. Weird. Nah, remember that time we was naked? Weird. I love you too, girl. When we gonna hook up again? Nigga, I don't know. When can we talk? Nigga, How about sending some sexy pics via text Nigga, message? Know. You know, smoke a guy got locked up she for that shit. For that? Yeah, that's what happened when you do dumb shit, you though. You can go to jail for carjacking? Yeah, you can run, but you can't hide outside the police station, though. I'm sorry, I don't know shit. Yeah, you a thug. So when it comes to that hero that? shit, yeah, you's a lady, yeah. y'all, man. Yeah, straight up, though. So, Hero Guy, 
Tell me what you think of Hero Pa. You gotta think deforestation, root excavation, turning the soil, leveling the foundation. I mean, the tight pants, you can sense my hesitation. Tell me what's the square acreage. 40 square acres and some John Deere tools. This is the right place, man. The place where you could be you. Just like Uniblab, that chick, she fanged you in the neck. Yeah, the bitch did fang me in the neck. You always wanted to have your own place. Yeah, I gotta move out of my mama basement. It's time to get San Chris Claus his walking paper. I'm confused. Who is San Chris Claus? San Chris Claus is my secret identity. No shit, bro. Yeah, old man tight pants. San Chris Claus has got to die. Citizens for Cadrils Mkodilsern are responsible for the content of the CD. Citizens for Cadrils MC Kudleson son los responsables del contenido de este anuncio. Hello, citizens of Big City. My name is Hero Guy. You may remember me from such dramatic rescues as the fire at Talkity Talk with Biddy and Pom Pom, the homosexual holdup on the set of Knowledge the Life Coach, in addition to sipping on a cool can of Bob Jackson Super Tea at the Mountain View Diner right at the corner of Spinkter and Talon Road. I stand before you today to warn you about a thief in the temple in the form of the political candidate Cousin Coach and Coat. As you may or may not know, I was once a superhero in my younger days, but since a bitch veined me in the neck, I have henceforth ceased and desisted all form of heroic acts. Would you want Cousin Coochie Coo performing your daughter's first pass me at the local outpatient care center? I think you want Cousin Coochie Coo behind bars. Do your part in the upcoming election to ensure Cousin Coochie Coo has had his last touchy feeling moment in the genitals of American politics. A vote for Cuddles McCuddleson this coming election is a vote to keep politicians' hands out of your orifices. Say no to Cousin Coochie Coo and his touchy feeling moments in the genitals of America. Johnny Delito. A oh, man, I'm glad to see you all in with the development of the Delito you Theater. You know I got money. You see me pull up yeah, in the gold car. Yeah, I see you, car. Mr. Gold Go car. be <laughs> like that, bro. You sound like one of my uh, bitches. I nah, lost one I ain't time. No bitch, nah, bro. cause see, it took that one time you got fanged in the yeah, neck. Yeah, bitch, fame me in the neck that one time. Yeah, though. that bitch got you though. I wrote a song about it. You wanna hear? Nah, I prayed already. I'm good. You man. think we could get a major act to sing it at the first concert? You see, you stopped your superhero shit. Now you wanna do. Other shit to fill in the shit that's Yeah, missing. man, I'm glad you understand. I don't. Well, you should. Your hero days are numbered. Nah, cause I got a gold car, my utility belt is banging, and you ain't even knew I was a superhero fam. Hood shit, shit, though. You should think that through. I what? didn't know you were a superhero until the day, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hood shit, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast for breaking news from Pivot with News America. Here is your host. Charity Trunkenstein. Hello and welcome to Pivot with News America. I am Charity Chunkenstein and just moments ago, Uniblab Vernacular was charged with assaulting Hero Guy during a rescue attempt that occurred just weeks ago. From court documents released to the press, we can see there are a series of charges stemming from illegal bite marks to the jugular vein, all the way to coercion of a federal witness. Uniblab's attorney was not available for comment, but if you can zoom out for me John John, everyone at home can see how gigantic the skulls of J.L. Mountain are. This shed some light on how the giants of the old days were massive, and without Hero Guy, the citizens of Big City wouldn't be alive today. This has been Charity Chunkenstein reporting live from J.L. Mountain, for Pivot, with News America. Scheduled broadcast for breaking news from Pivot with News America. You can go now. Donnie! What's good, home slice? Don't come up in this bitch, home slice, and me, motherfucker. When you get your settlement check, you owe come me big on, time. Donnie, come on, Donnie, big check, man. Big check, man. I'm gonna I'm pay you, fam, jam. Don't come in this bitch, all out, hero. Your motherfucking ass a problem in the middle of a wheel of misfortune. Well, what the fuck as you, you very know, well man. know, a bitch got me right here in the neck. Nippy, man. yay, and fuck the day. You a vampire and shit. Tell me what the fuck you want, shit, man. fam, I know I owe you big time. Yeah, motherfucker, big time. Facts. I gotta kill my secret identity as a stipulation uh, of the gubernatorial contract what? that converts me from a superhero into a full-time vampire. Now what the fuck has San Chris Claus done to anybody, man? Now you going too far with this vampire shit. Hero guy was curated in front of a flat screen TV. Happy, sad, yummy. This is Lady V. Lady V, happy, sad, and yummy. 
I'm gonna thank everyone for coming here to Staring Point tonight. I got a couple of things I need to get off my chest. Just go and get it off your chest. So you can feel better. You gonna be alright, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Let me drop some shit on your toilet, see if you can flush. It's going down the drain. Drain. Wow, wow. You know how it was back in the day. A motherfucker could do what the fuck they want to. Yeah, I mean, then, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker like Lady V get all extra Fuck and shit. Call me sire. And you ain't no victim, you a vampire. Girl, you suck on my blood, done change my life. Lady V, I ain't trying to be a bitch about it, but that was some fucked up shit you did when you fanged me in the neck, you know what I'm saying? I got confrontation issues, so I had to bring my background singers to help me out, you know what I'm saying? Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, cats, dogs, babies, silver citizens, werewolves, and vampires. Welcome to the number one beat maker competition in the world. Welcome to Pocket Full of Beats. Tonight the action is live. We have to my right, South Billy, Tiki Toy, Trax. And to my left, yes, it's DJ Itchy Scratchy. The rules are simple. Each beat maker get three chances to play the most fire 15 seconds from a musical selection of the beat maker's choice. Are you ready out there, family? I am Black Guy. No relation to Black Panther or Hero Guy to the best of my knowledge. Let's get started! True, true, pow, 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 homie. I say four kinds. Four kinds of shaving that powder. That is wrong. That is wrong, wrong, you wrong. You telling me out of nine kinds, that is only four kinds of shaving powder? You heard. Who's next? It's time to call me mom, you know? Challenging. Change it. Choo choo choo, pow pow pow, my boy. For the most omnipotent hat, give us us air to breathe and ears to hear. I hear you four are kinds. Wrong. You are four so kinds wrong. of I have shaving powder indeed. Pass to club. Four Hell kinds no. of shaving I'm powder dead as hell. indeed. What are you doing? Hyo, it's a hero cave, the hero guy. Don't touch that machine gun. You're gonna put your eye out. You are vampire now. You don't need the fornication. You never listen. Get your kitty to put on the pair. Fornication is here. Your alarm system has been reset. What are you doing here at the Hero Cave Hero Guy? Don't turn that machine on. You're gonna put your eye out. You're a vampire now. You don't need fornication. You never listen. Fresh pitted from the pair. Fornication is here. Your alarm system has been reset. Sir Lexi, can you send the directions to Black Guy Studio to the Biomobile? I was planning on taking the car out today. Sure thing, bloke. Transferring the coordinates to the Biomobile post haste. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? Perhaps a spot of mutton from the Mountain View Diner? Nah, I'm good on mutton today. Can you send Lady V a text message? Spot on chap. Right away. What would you like your message to say? Sub Lady V exclamation point. I hope we got a good understanding from my talk with happy, comma, sad, ampersand, yummy, period. I would love to go out sometime. If you interested, hit my line. Ampersand, let's set something up, period. Your message reads Sub Lady V. I hope we got a good understanding from our talk with happy, sad, and yummy. I would love to go out sometime if you interested hit my line and let's set something up. Would you like to send this message hero guy? Yeah, that sound good. Let's go with that. Your message has been sent. Station. 
hero guy. Someone in SD who really does good in the hood. Cousin Kuchiku, touchy-feely mofo who borderline suspect for a sexual assault. Church, refuge for the mentally insane. Author unknown. And now back to hero guy. It all begins with a seed. A simple seed planted inside of Mother Earth. Nurtured with love, right in the heart of T-Town, USA. Bob Jackson's Super Tea. Brewed from the freshest flush of the youngest tea leaves you have ever put your lips on. Our steaming process is so technologically advanced, I just can't tell it all. Bob Jackson's Super Tea is brewed from hand-rolled tea leaves, then oxidated to perfection. We dry our tea leaves with our state-of-the-art patent-pending baker's oven made right here in the good old U.S. of A. What's up, everybody? My name is Hero Guy. When I'm hanging out with my friends at the Mountain View Diner, you can always catch me sipping on a cool can of Bob Jackson Super Tea. Light or dark, it's the best. So the next time you want something cold to drink, reach for a cool can of Bob Jackson Super Tea. Now available in light and dark at a grocery store near you. Bob Jackson Super Tea. Why drink regular tea when you can drink Bob Jackson Super Tea? It's the best. When there is no superhero to save the day When there's no shiny star to cut the way When there's no way to live on control my feelings Just rip it from inside, release me I turn up when I turn up I turn down when I turn down Ain't no rhythm on my blue Ain't no smiling when I'm frowning When I turn up Get your ice cold Bob Jackson Super Tea right here at the stand, baby. You want it, I got it. I got light, I got dark, and if you mix them together, you got medium super tea. Right here at the stand, baby. You want it, I got it. Bob Jackson Super Tea. Colder than the Arctic. Right here, baby. Loose squares, loose squares. I got loose squares, I got packs, I got cartons, I got single cigars, I got boxes, and I got roll-ups. I got BD, I got that K2, and I got that CBD. All right here at the stand, baby. You already know. Loud, 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 loud. I got runs, I got perp, I got Kush, I got red headsets, I got that headband, I got no other lights, I got some other shit, I can't pronounce it, but the shit blowing. Loud, 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 loud. Three five for the three five all day, every day. Valtrax, I got that Valtrax herpes suppression script busting right here. Get your groove on without the move done, uh uh. Herpes is the gift that keeps on giving, but with Valtrax, you can keep your flare ups to a minimum no matter how many times you hit them. Valtrax, get your Valtrax right here at the stand and begin your herpes suppression regimen today. Bars, bars, I got bars for sale. Your record label stroking your esophageal canal while simultaneously pounding your palate with their pecker. Cop some of the hottest 16s in the universe. I got storytelling, I got party and bullshit. I got shoot 'em up, I even got bars for you lady handsome girl lesbians. It's all right here at the stand, baby. Feel up a ring. Oh, that's where you
Well there you have it. It's time to count our good days as the best days because the worst is yet to come. Has Hero Guy made it official, or is this just another Hollywood parlor trick to tamper with the viewer's imagination? One half of me wants to hope for the best. The other half knows deep down inside that it's all a downward, downward spiraling, spiraling, flaming, flaming abyss, abyss, abyss from this point on. Point on. No superhero to save the day. No shining star to guide the way. If you look around, you too can see a little piece of hero guy roaming the streets in the day or at night. And the people you know. Whether it's a good Samaritan helping a neighbor, or a stone, cold, cold villain, villain, out for bloodlust. There's a little bit of hero guy in us all. You don't win this bitch, oh damn, I'ma show you a good time, my nigga When you bust it down, we gon' be around this bitch like clowns, you feel me? Put the hero shit out, dark music, timely equipment Fuck them clowns, I'm a baboon throwing shit, spitting piss, don't cage for now I'm going to vanish, kiss me, you miss me, don't shut me out I leave, you gonna be scratching and itching, addiction now You can leave whenever you get in your feelings, don't tell nobody There ain't no lantern, there ain't no wishes, there ain't no hero to save the day There ain't no shining star to guide the way You get paid, I get paid on the same day You need me in like every motherfucking single way You need yourself a hero, no superhero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no one to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no one to save the day You don't need another line Calm down, you in here talking to witches I know you tried this life, America Ain't made for niggas, you got me dying I'm old as hell, you can't move no quicker Bye, 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 you broke as hell You borderline a suspect for stick up, so right I lie I told you escape from this illness My name is drugs, I cost Yes, I want all you bitches downgrade your stuff Sleep with the drunk people piss It's gonna be us and love and hate Happy, sad, yummy, all of it, huh? 
You miss me, you want me, it's the feeling of being numb In your thoughts, in your body, in your soul, you know you want it Yeah, we got another one of them checks coming Let me hold something, I hold you together I get you pumping, I keep your mind off that stuff Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no one to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no hero to save the day Ain't no one to save the day Sure thing, Conan. I just want to know when you're going to kind of work with your own tools, oh, man. Come on, I understand man. you're out on the work release program, oh, work release now, but if you're going to work, you're going to have to have oh, your own buddy. tools. Thank you for calling Winged Fire Automotive Repair Shop. This is Barry Buckhouse speaking. How can I help you today? No, Johnny's not here. Hey, what's up, player? What you doing, shawty? Who is this? Hey, this Johnny. Oh, hey. Nothing, man. Chill. Hey, what? how many people be calling y'all house, man? Like five or six. What? Like five or six. Oh. Let put your mom on the phone, man. Hey. Yo, what's up? This is Johnny. Hey, Johnny. How many people you got calling your house? Nah, nah, nah. Look, I'm just trying to see if we still on for the night, baby. I ain't got time to be arguing. It is what it is. It is what it is, Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be the pick you up. I'm in the gold car today. Yeah. Hey, stop all them people from calling your house. You know what I'm saying? I ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. No, no. Nah, don't worry about it, shouty. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Take care of your body, girl. Don't let that body take care of you. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Talk to you later. Okay, bye, Johnny. Don't look for horses just because you hear who It could be the adventures of Johnny Delito. Wait a minute, let me in here, man. Ring the ding the ding the ding the ding dong 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 the dong. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know you hit a hit a hit a phone. Yeah, baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm glad we here together now Cause you know what I'm saying on the phone It didn't sound too cool But it sound cool hey, now Is right? you trying to argue Johnny? No, It no. sound like you trying to argue Why you Johnny? always trying to say that I'm Why always, you always trying, trying to argue Why you always trying to argue Johnny? You know I'm always you trying to, to stop argue talking like Look that. at this beautiful scenery it is beautiful, Look Johnny. at this beautiful car Yeah, Mr. Gold Car I look like I'm trying to argue nah, with you Mr. beautiful Go girl car. Yeah. yeah, you understand where I'm coming from, I'm right? Saying, Johnny. It's all good. It's all we just good, need Johnny. to keep it civil. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. need to focus on what's important. Creed, Creed dates, dates, Johnny, Johnny and Johnny, Johnny dates. dates. Uh, why you ain't no, say I just want to see if you nah, was gonna Johnny, say it. You know what I'm is saying? You trying to argue? Is you trying to argue, girl, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. You just go ahead and trust me, we could be together, you know what I'm saying? 
American with melanin was curated in front of a flat screen TV. <coughs> well, when you see one of them fellas in there talking all sleep. That right, that is an American with melanin. Paul Paul told them all, lust is all in. That right, that is an American with melanin. Paul Paul loving his Paul Paul sin. Paul Paul love blackberry molasses. All of y'all lust and all lust is all kin. That right, that is an American with melanin. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining the podcast. We got a lot of topics to cover today. Stay tuned, all right? First, we're going to have a word from our sponsors. Are you tired of not having no money? Well, the only reason you ain't got no money because you ain't got no job. Go ahead and sign up at workyourasstodeath.org.inizatiln and you can get yourself a job. Work your ass to death dot O-R-G I N I C A T I O N A proud sponsor of Talkity Talk with Biddy and Paul. And to all our new listeners, I just want you to know we ain't got none of that hard hitting journalistic shit that you used to. You see over here we're keeping it real. And I haven't said that, I'd like to welcome you all to Talkity Talk. I'm Biddy. And this here is Paul Paul. All right, everybody, we're going to get started. Now, the first thing we're going to discuss is the elephant in the room. Now, everybody's heard this guy running around raping guys' penises with his mouth. Listen here, mouth rapist. I'm sure that I speak for every guy who doesn't want their penis raped by some guy's mouth when I say, hey, man, what the hell are you doing? And for those of you who are sympathizers and empathizers of this mouth rapist guy, it's obvious to me that you've never had your penis raped by some guy's mouth. Now that's all I'm going to say about that. Now you guys are listening to the number one podcast rated number one by people who rate stuff. This is Talk 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 with with Biddy and Paul Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, today on the show, we have the pleasure to have our guest, uh, Mr. O.C. Lambda. He's a specialty clairvoyant, and he comes to the show all the time. He's a great friend of the show, and we always have a positive time when he's here. But we always have to say this disclaimer. You guys, when O.C. Lambda goes ahead and gives you your clairvoyant reading, we don't want you to lie about what the results are. We don't want you to lie. We want you guys to stay 100% honest, 100% transparency. That's the only way, right? All right, let's get started. Carla, you're on the air with OC Lambda. Lambda. What's your situation? Hi, my name is Jimmy. First time caller, long time listener. I just want to thank you, Paul Paul, for everything you've done for the community. We really appreciate it. And I want to thank you, OC, for coming in to work today. You're not like that guy, Fred Armisen, from Dr. Sufi Myers' television show. You actually show up to work. Now, I have a couple of things that I want to ask you. I was thinking about changing careers. I was thinking about leaving my wife. I was thinking about taking my kids. I was thinking about filing for child support. I was thinking about setting a fire to her new boyfriend's house. I was thinking about Excuse trying me. my Excuse me, I'll oh, see. I hate to interrupt. But uh, it's time for the theme song, man. Call her, you gotta call back. It's theme song time. Come on. Break. And we'll be right back, okay?
Don't you move a muscle. Now that's one of them old school segways. When they expected you to sit there and watch all the commercials. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the number one podcast. Rated number one by people on social media. Taking social media polls about podcasts. I'm dead as hell. Once I was alive, now I'm dead as hell. Man, I'm dead as hell. Today's subjects include. Today's my last day as a heartbeat. Ain't none of y'all flash. You ain't gon' get no deal like mine. This motherfucker ain't even in the jail. They don't let him go. If we don't walk away, they gon' burn down this black world we built. Just wanted to drop some shit on your fucking toilet. See if you can flush it. Welcome to the podcast. I'm dead as hell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the podcast ranked number one by the first lady of the church who just so happens to be a professional survey taker. This is Lips to Lips with your host, Ernestine, Bernadine, and Marna. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lips to Lips. Hey, everybody. This is Marna. I know we got some long listeners out there who hold the podcast yesterday. I just want to say, I don't give a damn what Ernestine done told y'all yesterday. I ain't no damn church hoe. Ernestine, your granddaughter is a church hoe. Ernestine, you a church hoe. I ain't no damn church hoe. Now y'all stay tuned for more lips to lips. I'm dead as hell and lips to lips. Brought to you by Lemons. Lemons! We're not just for lemonade anymore. You can take the peel and make it foliage. You can take the seed and plant trees. Or you can just mush it all together and call it concentrate. Lemons! Proud sponsor. I'm dead as hell. And lips to lips. Lemons! We're not just for lemonade anymore. You're back with talkity talk with Pity and Paw Paw. We miss you. Where you been? Your proposals to your pop kick drums is designed to help you find your cool level by the harmony of your pop kick drums you may Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the number one podcast rated number one by people who love to go to the club, stand next to the speaker, and never move a muscle. It's Yoga Poses to Hip Hop Kick Drums with your host, a serious. Y'all know what time it is. Child Pose. And hold it. Upward Dog. Superhero, one of the homies from the hood, 
and you put them in a house with nine people who just lost their entire income tax refund check at the casino, I'll tell you what you get. You get House of Studs. This is House of Studs. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the number one podcast rated number one by people on social media taking social media polls about podcasts. I'm dead as hell. Once I was alive, now I'm dead as hell. Man, I'm dead as hell. Today's subjects include. I'd like to welcome you to the podcast. I'm going to drop some shit on your toilet and see if you can flush it. My producer told me I needed to have a guest on this show. I got this motherfucker and he dead as hell. Crispus Ackes. We got Crispus Ackes on the show today. Later on in the segment, of course. Mr. Ackes, I just want to drop some shit on your toilet and see if you can flush it. 99.976% of my uh, listening audience... They uh, believe you're nothing more than another black sacrifice for white progress. So I really and truly hope that you have a lot to lay on the people because we are heavy, laden, and burdened hard. I don't want to get it started. I just want to drop some shit on your toilet and see if you can flush it. I'd like to welcome everybody to the podcast. We got a special guest today, and he dead as hell, Mr. Crispus Ackes. Welcome to the podcast. I'm dead as hell. Christmas Addicts. Please report to our dead as hell for the owner. Christmas Addicts. Please report to our dead as hell for the owner. Christmas We back. I just want to drop a shit on the tour. See if you blush it. I got the man Christmas Addicts in the studio. I want to apologize about mispronouncing your name earlier brother uh brother crispus the floor is your horse now why in the name of john baptiste point du sable are you guys acting like the less talented yet more slutty sibling of a superstar back in my day it was cool to be a runaway and it was bad to be a slave look at these hands turkey these are some rope making hands, brother. I will choke you all the way out. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's real out here, fam jam. Your tone has become threatening. Your body language has become aggressive. And I fear for my life. It's a shame I had to be the first person shot. Don't be a martyr. Live, my people. I just wanted to drop some shit your toilet and see if you could flush it, you know? Ah, you cool cats and cool kittens. You now tell that to the podcast ranked number one by the American Smack Society. It's Krista Cuffs with your host, Fred Mendo Cornerstone. All right, ladies, y'all can get up and do y'all thing. We got Cousin Gucci Koo in the house tonight. Get a round of applause for Cousin Gucci Koo. Cousin Gucci Koo, come ahead and do your thing. Man. But now, you said she said this, and she said that you did that. Everybody decided to waive their right to a speedy trial by the jury, and they settle it right here on fisticuffs. Get it in! Alright, all of you love bar. This is the fisticuffs. It's your host. Carter. I'd like to welcome you back to the podcast. If you're just tuning in, you missed one hell of a segment. We had to show the boys in here. Show the boys. They're still in the studio. I just want to say, that mixtape is fire. Tell your face, face. I love it. Bonjour de Satan and Jesus. The show the boys. They just gave us a sneak peek into their mixtape. And it's fire. You understand? You listen to the talkity talk. Biddy and Paw Paw. I'm Paw Paw. That's Biddy. And over there in the corner, standing next to Jesus, that's OC Lambda. He's gonna be taking calls pretty soon in the next segment. Hey, I just.
just want to say, show the boys, we gotta have your back on the show. It was a fantastic experience. I'm glad you guys shared it out with us. Appreciate you. Thank you. And I hope you guys get to work together again. Because this was just fantastic. It's like ringtone fire. If ringtones were still popular. You're listening to Talk He Talk with Benny and Paul Paul. We'll be right back. Don't you move a muscle. I mean that literally. I'm dead as hell. And Lips to Lips is brought to you by... Lemons. Lemons. We're not just for lemonade anymore. You can take the peel and make it foliage. You can take the seed and plant trees. Or you can just mush it all together and call it concentrate. Lemons. Proud sponsor. I'm dead as hell. And lips to lips. Lemons. We're not just for lemonade anymore. You're back with Talkity Talk with Pity and Paw Paw. We miss you. Where you been? No, 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 everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. It's fine. Everything is fine. I know. I know. I'm back. I got my own ninjas. And they will whoop your ass. Nobody fucks around with a guy who got his own stenographer, my own personal artist. You guys are fucking around and I'm not. You understand? Nobody understands who I am. I got my own ninjas and they will whoop your ass. Don't you understand? Did you document it when I said they will whoop your ass? You got it? That's good. appreciate that selection. You see, my brothers and sisters, we are here to funeralize our dear brother because he died, amen. He used to be a heartbeat until it came out that our brother J.T. Matthews was sleeping with his brother Donald Duck Matthews' significant other. It was a Grammy celebration unlike any other. The record executives and the handlers were all mingling in the same room to celebrate the greatness and then BOOM! Our dearly departed brother Flash Sr. took a leap of faith and made that day his last day as a heartbeat. Now brother Flash went on to promote his solo release, It's Lonely at the Top, with the minister of music Tony Stone singing background vocals in the background. Choir boy show can't hit them high notes, huh church? Now we gonna let Flash Jr. come up here and say something about his daddy, amen? Now, Brother Eddie Kang and Donald Doug Matthews have passed me a note that says, Don't forget that Flash Jr. mixtape is streaming exclusively on Apple Music and iTunes, and it is entitled Flash Jr. I'm at the top and it's lonely. Won't you put your Holy Ghost hallelujah hands together for the damn boy he lost his daddy, everybody? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, choir. One more time. Won't you go? Take me your 
stuff. Like in your stuff. If the answer is yes to both questions, then you need to sign up now to become a student at the Ronnie Rapid School of Defense. At the Ronnie Rapid School of Defense, I will teach you how to keep your stuff. I will also teach you how to stop people from taking your stuff. If people don't take your stuff and you keep your stuff, you are very good at defending your stuff. You must be a student already. If you don't have your stuff, you need to sign up to become a student at Ronnie Rabbit's School of Defense. Do not call, just show up now. Y'all better get off that piano. Stop banging on that piano that way. You can't be a great musician for banging on the piano like that. Don't focus on being the greatest ever. When you get older, your body will fail you. Don't put your focus on having sex with all the girls. In the event you don't use protection, you will be the father of a lot of children. Store up your energy and all your effort until you're old. And then when the snappers ain't gonna get the best of you, it'll size me. You have been listening to Chicago Station for church music, sanctuary songs, in addition to Breaking the Bread of the Lord with Rhythm Rock Joe Rockchild on Tuesdays and Thursdays. WTVA, your brand new native Don't focus on being the greatest ever. When you get older, your body will fail you. Don't put your focus having sex with all the girls. In the event you don't use protection, you will be the father of a lot of children. Store up your energy and all your effort until you old. And then when the snappers ain't gonna get the best of you, the other side's real. You gotta be careful, the door's open. With News America interviewing Johnny DeLito, take one. Hello, this is Charity Chunkenstein here at the Mountain View Diner with Johnny DeLito. Johnny, what's going on? How have you been? You know how I've been. You see me pull up in a gold car, you want to ride in a gold car. Well said. This has been Charity Chunkenstein for Pivot with News America. Today on Hood Talk, we diffuse the loud, angry, and somewhat profane. When confronted with these situations, proceed with caution. 
Pay close attention to the dark undertones in today's episode of Hood Talk. Yeah, fucked up shit and it never been arrested. Let me nick you and Abila be on campus. You don't even go to the high school. Will it in Jonesburg? Fuck wrong to do bucket shit. You gaining good to rustic fuck up. You need the no grand road is man fucked up and okay. Let me tell you what's the 144,000 votes to the woods to boyhood bad about you. Every single solitary town with a college and he has a town full of yellow local yokels and for local yokel to not have been outside of their town to local spot that is not considered to be a Thank good thing. Thank you for thing watching to the and learning from another episode of Hood Talk. And now, Killing Blacks, American Style. Today on Killing Blacks, Blacks. American American Style, style. we resurrect a mother of three who was assassinated in 1918. Mary Turner, grieving widow, beloved wife, eight months pregnant, hung from a tree by her ankles, doused with gasoline and motor oil then set ablaze, simply for having too much black girl sass. Mary's husband Hazel Hayes Turner was falsely accused of conspiring to execute a new age plantation owner in the post-Civil War era. Hazel was hunted across the state of Georgia until an angry mob kidnapped him, based holistically upon false accusations, then began killing blacks, American style. Mary Turner was livid. She went berserk renouncing the lynching proclaiming her husband's innocence in addition to threaten to press charges against the mob. Mary Turner, grieving widow, beloved wife, eight months pregnant, hung from a tree by her ankles, doused with gasoline and motor oil then set ablaze. After her clothing was burned, her unborn child was cut from her body. The mob stomped the head of the child after two faint cries, then riddle both mother and child with what is said to be hundreds of bullets. Mary Turner, beloved wife and pregnant mother. Stand then wring my hands and cry. So I'll just stand and wring my hands and cry. Oh Lord, sometimes I feel a feeling I ain't got no friend at all. So I'll stand. And wring my hands and cry, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm just in my hands and cry. Wring my hands and cry. So I'll just stand. I'm just in my hands and cry. Wring my hands and cry. Oh, Lord. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I ain't got no friends at all. So I'll just stand. And wring my hands and cry, oh Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Killing Blacks. American style. Ladies and gentlemen, the Virtuoso Academy proudly presents For Your Viewing Pleasure TV show. Okay, 
The shock you tame and sketchimation super show was curated in front of a flat screen TV. Shock, shock, educate, educate entertain, entertain, sketch, sketch, color, color, animate, animate, shock, shock, educate, educate entertain, entertain, sketch, sketch, color, color, animate, animate, shock you tame and sketchimation super show. 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 Shock you tame and sketchimation. Super show, shock you, Damon. Sketch a mission, super show, shock you, Damon. Sketch a mission, super show, shock you, Damon. Sketch a mission, super show. And now for the shock you, Damon. Sketch a mission, super show. Are you okay? No, man. Not at all. What's the problem? Can I help you? Did you lose someone? Nah, man. Yeah, man. Damn, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just calm down. Just calm down. I can't sir. calm down, man. Somebody took my bitch, man. Oh, shit. Do you need to use my phone to call the police, nah, bro? Nah, man. I got my phone right here. That's how I found out somebody took my bitch, man. See, look. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I took, took your, your bitch. bitch. Damn, man. man. I'm looking for my bitch, man. Somebody just took her, man. of Paul Robeson, in six months, and walks out on this nigga circus and from then on, a top dog. Bush nigga. Here, I'ma be riding this bitch. I'ma be all fucking riding this bitch. I'ma live up in it like my daddy done hit it. I'ma be all fucking riding this bitch right here. I'ma be riding this bitch. I'ma be all fucking riding this bitch. I'ma get up in it like my daddy damn did. I'ma be all fucking riding this bitch right here. I'ma be riding this bitch. I'ma be all fucking riding this bitch. I'ma live up in it like my daddy done hit it. I'ma be your fucking night in this bitch, right? Hit. I'ma be right in this bitch. I'ma be all fucking night in this bitch. I'ma live up in it like my daddy done hit it. I'ma be all fucking night in this bitch. If you identify yourself as black, African American, colored, or Negro, please press one. I'm sorry, but you do not qualify. This call will be disconnected. <laughs> The musical! Over-educated, over-enunciated, not appreciated, not celebrated, just hated. Hatred, no gas station, no reparations, miseducation, fake it till you make it. Hatred, you lost them in the roles, you kept them in the polls, your life is not your own, you can't escape it. 
you not gonna make it all alone Everybody needs someone, mama hold on to your son Somebody birthed a nation Crabs in the barrel wanna climb out We got a whole race of men down, time out Can you say systematic, mister? Probably not, you gonna avoid that conviction One to the two, two to the three Dressing, walking, talking like you see on TV It's all good, baby, till you catch that felony Then you realize your ass is trapped like me Super cool Crack a hacker nigga, you walking then you talking like somebody picked a whip up A Emmett Till special, a Kuta Kente back rub Why you always acting like your punk ass do not love us? Why you think you special? Why you better than us? Your mama then your daddy should have went off to that clean up Why you do not listen? Why you keep repenting? Every time you apologize to someone I miss it Punk ass bitch ass sofa looking nigga Couch face ash hey looking ass bitch boy But I ain't y'all can't Looking ass killjoy I'm riding him I take it looking ass Shots fired, big lie. Mama, fam, the government. Y'all dying, top five. I don't give a fuck with shit. Hands on your heart, cause you pledge to believe this kid. Water holes on put time in before he didn't get him. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna get off since civil no nigga is shit. Now you gon' show that side black history the knowledge what you're striving for I don't give two fucking shits about your age Let me tell you something, you still a boy Now this here's one, here let me show This here dog, you done look dead in my ass, not on the floor We must not be no more Now go ahead and lock the door Go on and get your cloak Go on and call the boys Now enough is enough This must be one of them uh, super coons Crack a hacker nigga Walking then, talking like somebody picked a whip up A Emmett Till special, a Kuta Kente back rub Why you always acting like your punk ass do not love us, Mr. Super Coon? Cracker hacker nigga, walking then talking like somebody picked a whip up. A Emmett Till special, a Kuta Kente back row. Why you always acting like your punk ass do not love us? I got a felony. They keep telling me to keep my head up. It's getting better, G. For the white people, not us. No trust. If they want it, they gon' take your stuff. Call they white homie, call they crooked black cop. Crooked black cop fell in love with your mom Now your mama low-key pushed a button to the bomb Explosion, hoping a door gets open My life matter, you trying to keep me smoking We all black people, you keep copping dope Then pray that I spend every dime go broke, man Pray that I switch to them lines, raw coke, yeah Pray that I sell my soul, keep hoping Pray that I need it so bad that I'm hopeless Pray for the almighty dollar, Mr. Dope, man Pray that I sell my child, Mr. Pedophile, keep on Praying to that white man's God Keep on thinking family get the nod Keep on thinking you protected crooked cop You got a son who killed someone You using all your cop cars just to cover it up You got a criminal at home, why you fucking with us? Listen here slum lord, it's a whole damn bus worth of people How you gonna finger me now? Just in case you didn't figure it out You the problem How you gonna say that you down When you keep trying to take me out? You so awesome how you gonna finger me now, just in case you didn't figure it out, you the problem. How you gonna say that you down, when you keep trying to take me out, you so awesome.
リプレゼンツ「フォーイワービューイングプレジャー」。Returned. Your brainwashing technique is feeble to say the least. I will reclaim all that is mine. You shall surely perish for what you have done. Oh shit. Nakaki Buta has returned from the jump. It's gone down. Your actions have brought shame. To the temple. No one shames the temple. I shall have my revenge. When there is no hope, the citizens turn to Nukakiti. Do 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 do, asshole musician. Do 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 do, asshole musician. I'm working it and I'm playing it and I'm looking. Hello, it's a brand new day, and Ali wanna say, "What you doing up so late?" He would like to welcome the viewing public to our first of many episodes. We are on this trip together, so won't you settle in for the flight? It's can't get bumpy. He got cut off by a driver on the way to work today, and guess what they were doing? Yep, they were totally focused on getting somewhere, with no reward for anyone or anything that could stand in their way. <laughs> Salute to you, driver, with the middle finger. It was not at the blunt end of your suppressed right. Speaking of right, why are my skinny jeans so tight? No matter how many sizes he chose above my actual pantses. I'm just saying. You want to be stylish, not soft, Katie. That's to the fashion designer on the cast of Gratnis. I have horrible news. You know it's a new day and the day is just getting started. Betty Gate traps some poop on your toilet to see if you can flush it. That's to quote Turkey M. Segobo from I'm Dead as Hell, right here on the UVA. He got a kiss of telephone neck from staring downward at my devices in addition to. My children. You see, my children are short and to look them in the face, I have to lower my head, which bends my neck. As far as my devices are concerned, Ali can say is, it's like my first honeymoon, my first time being married. Use the palm of my hand. Today on the show we have Honey the Letter, Charity Bastard, and Winged Fair. Stacked on we right back at your head with Honey the Letter. Turn the TV up so you can hear the commercials during your bathroom break. Today on Hood Talk, 
we diffuse the loud, angry, and somewhat profane. When confronted with these situations, proceed with caution. Pay close attention to the dark undertones in today's episode of Hood Talk. I'm gonna tell you a couple of things about driving for the first thing when you break up with a girl that you have buried her shoes in the backyard before you bury the shoes in the backyard. You have to take a shit in these shoes because if you don't take a shit then it won't work, you won't stay. Look at I don't know, you just sit and do it. The worst part about being a musician at church is somebody walking up to the mic singing bow return like amazing grace. How sweet the sound that's it like I cannot, I cannot function in this environment. Like no look past drive line fired or you take this microphone away from this dude. Fuck you, man, you sound like shit. Get the behind me, sat and get the fuck Thank you for watching and learning from another episode of Hood Talk. Hood talk. Make sure you don't go to sleep. Y'all make sure you call. Okay, I'm gonna call you, I promise. Yeah, I ain't gonna sleep, man. You gotta be with her wingman. Yeah, I'm gonna be her wingman, but be her wingman for the back seat, cause that's my seat. You that's still sitting in the back? Yes, I still oh, sit in the back. Dude. I'm 79 and three quarters years old, and I'm gonna tell you, I sit in the back. You got but, in the car. Uh huh. What did you automatically do? I automatically grabbed the back door, opened up the back door, got in the back door, and sat my ass in the back, cause that's my seat. That's what I sit. I sit in the back. You understand? I got a whole thing going on. Y'all mean to understand. I know, I know, but I got a thing. Every now and then. Every now and then, I sit in the front, but see, I sit in the back, cause the front seat is Rosa Parks' seat. Did she go to sleep? Nah, she didn't go to sleep, but she sat in the front. How you say that Rosa Parks go to sleep? Citizens for Cadels MC Kudleson son los responsables del contenido de este anuncio. Hello, citizens of Big City. My name is Hero Guy. You may remember me from such dramatic rescues as the fire at Talkity Talk with Biddy and Pom Pom, the homosexual holdup on the set of Knowledge the Life Coach, in addition to sipping on a cool can of Bob Jackson Super Tea. At the Mountain View Diner, right at the corner of Spinkter and Talon Road. I thank you, one cousin coach and coach behind bars. Do your part in the upcoming election to ensure cousin coach and coach has had his last touchy feely moment in the genitals of American politics. A vote for Cuddles McCuddleson this coming election is a vote to keep politicians' hands out of your orifices. Say no to cousin coach and coach and his touchy feely moments in the genitals of America.
Listen, man, all I wanted to do is put something out there so that people could enjoy it and laugh a little bit. You didn't have to sick the invaders on me, man. Now what in the Sam Pam Pam Pam's invaders, man? Where did you find this guy, man? Everybody knows everybody love when it's the back story time. You know what, baby? You and me could go really far, you know. We could park my car in front of Dunbar Hall and look at the stars as all the people yarn. Yes. Before I take off my clothes, I would like to negotiate the terms and conditions of this contract because uh, once my brain blood leaves my brain, baby, I can't think. You understand what I'm saying? Ooh, you looking Girl, I just want to tell y'all loud that uh, if you just so happy to get pregnant, and we move into Texas, you ain't killing none of my babies, you understand? We both gonna be on child support, you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting it out there, baby, so we can negotiate the terms and conditions of this contract, you understand? Quick question, boo. Do you vote Democrat or Republican? That kind of sort of matters to me because a lot of our people, they vote Democrat. But the Democrats are the people who separated the country because the termination of slavery. I just don't think that's an educated decision. Like I said, we're negotiating the terms and conditions of me taking off my clothes. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. You can if you want to. Prayed already was curated in front of a flat screen TV. Now before you get to talking, talk and move your hands all steady. I want you to know, you know, I prayed already. I prayed already. Now before you get to walking. What you mean, man? Nah, yeah, I'm at work, man. But six. Oh, you at work, huh? Yeah, I'm at work, man. What you mean, man? You gonna pray together? Nah, I stay prayed up, man. Okay. I prayed already. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get a whole five dollars. I don't even got five dollars, man. I'm sorry. Well, I about see you that, busy. Man. I'll let you get back to it. All right, That's man. All right. Is that a Nagaki Buddha? Hey, did you hear that? That is the cocky boot. Well, let us prepare for war. I can hear you, no cocky you. I shall make you suffer. How dare you return to our land? You are banished to spend the rest of your days in the joint. You will meet your maker, no cocky boot. Say what you will. I gave you greatness, I gave you prosperity, and now I will give you a final fight. Today is the day you perish, no cocky buta. Ladies and gentlemen, the Virtuoso Academy proudly presents For Your Viewing Pleasure TV Show. Monkey 
the bananas Monkey loves grapes Monkey loves making love to other apes I said boy loves bananas Boy loves grapes Boy loves honey Boy loves monkey I was born I barely lived and I came to the realization long ago that one day I must die. It was a fuzzy day somewhere between the British invasion and the death of Disco. That's when I realized the odds were stacked against me. I had no intentions of merely surviving. I wanted to be prosperous. I wanted to be great. As with all things that occur on planet Earth, human error played a vital role in my destiny's collapse. What can, will. Please trust and believe that every part of this story is true. Though I will omit the names involved in the real life events that I am about to describe, I will not alter my recollection of the events themselves. I personally have come to know the evil that lurks in the hearts of men, women, and children. The love of money is said to be the root of all evil, yet self-hatred can be a poisonous vine that chokes the living life out of everything it touches. Last time, on the cocky tear. No cocky butta was a release from a joint. And now, no cocky tea! What the? What
Sim. Sim.